the best kept secret about Audrey was that she wanted to be loved. I'm gonna talk about the documentary Audrey, More Than an Icon, about the life beyond the glamour and fame of formal actress, dancer, and humanitarian Audrey Hepburn. Why do I think this is interesting to watch? The story of Audrey Hepburn is fascinating many people with different interests because her life had so many different stories to tell. Of course, we all know her as a film icon. My favorite movie, which meant a lot to me, was Breakfast at Tiffany's. We also know she was a style icon. For many women, an example of perfection. But her life was far from perfect, we might say. She spoke six languages, which was a result for her multicultural roots and upbringing. She became a true global citizen with a forever empathy for starving children. I'm personally always fascinated that she grew up here in the Netherlands, where she experienced also the Second World War. Here at home, we have this book written by her son, Luca Dotti, Audrey at Home. It's a cooking book and that sounds maybe a bit silly, but it isn't. There's, there's a deeper layer under it because Audrey suffered as a young kid from a rather high degree of malnutrition when the war ended. Well, what's it about? The film focuses more on the star's life beyond the camera, which I'm really interested in. The person beyond, especially in this case. It tells a story from Hepburn's life, beginning with her Hocknock youth in the Netherlands during the Second World War. She lived in a region of Arnhem that became infamous about a strategic and heavy clash between the Allies and Nazi Germany. She lived in that period with her mother after her father, a strong supporter of the fascist movement, abandoned the family when Hepburn was six, an event from which she never seemed to be recovered. And as a child, she danced in underground theater performances to, so it's been told, raise money for the resistance. The film then moves through Hepburn's early adulthood in London, where she uh, stunted balletic education, another consequence of the war, uh, meant she was far behind her peers and would not realize her prima ballerina dreams, unfortunately for Audrey, but she was destined for the stage, of course. And her chance discovery that took place in Monte Carlo led to cast Hepburn in the West End's production of Gigi and then her actress career started. Well, who is involved in this documentary? Uh, the director is Elena Cohen, a London-based film director. Contributions are from her son, Sean Hepburn Ferrer and granddaughter, Emma Ferrer. Now, when is the film going to be released? Well, the documentary was already released on December 15th last year, 2020 but it's coming on Netflix US on March 14th, 2021. It was certainly revolutionary. When I love, I love unconditionally. 